Hey guys, happy Wednesday. This is the day we've been working on snatches, overhead squat work. Uh, today's strength in the beginning is relatively short. We're gonna actually have some gymnastic strength at the end of class as well. Um, but we're gonna be doing uh, some squat snatching. Always scale this down to your abilities. Squat snatching is one of the hardest things that we do. Uh, but the movement, we'll be starting from the floor. Nice tall chest, pull, catch, and stand, okay? So that's our movement for the day. I always remind people, so what I just said, adjusting to your knees. The easiest version of this is to go from the hang, meaning you pick it up first, and then not squatting, power snatch. All right, so just go from the hang, jump, and just work on learning to get the power from the hips. I say you should feel the bar, no matter what variation you do, you should feel the bar make contact at your hip. So as you get better, always getting contact at the hip. As you get better, you can start squatting, or you can start going a little bit deeper. Go from just above or below the knee. Again, working on getting that contact at the hip and eventually going from the floor, okay? So again, that's the progression here. Start light, good hip contact, good catch. Eventually make the range of motion of the movement bigger, okay? If you have mobility issues, you gotta work on that, okay? But again, this is something that takes time. So we'll be doing relatively short work on the squat snatching, all right? From there, we're gonna go into a workout. We've got um, some running. We got some front rack lunges, right? So front rack dumbbell lunges. Remember when you do this, every rep, you want that knee to kiss the ground. Look at my front shin is vertical. I can push off both feet as I stand up all the way, tap, and move, okay? So again, if you watch from the front, don't walk on a tightrope one foot in front of the other. You want the feet to still be about shoulder width so you have some good stability. Tap, stand up all the way, okay? Um, this will be for distance, so make sure you get nice big steps. And we're comboing that, running, lunging with handstand walking, all right? So handstand walking is, again, one of the most technical things we do. So if you're decent at it, but this is hard, scale down the distance, all right? Uh, the basics here, the simplest one that we can do, the L1 version will be a plank, Shoulder tap for 30 touches. That'll be 15 each arm, okay? As you get better, you can go more pike position or feet on a bench, okay? All the way up to something with your feet on the wall. Again, the closer you get to the wall, the harder it is, okay? 30 taps, okay? That'll be your sub for today, all right? Um, so that's the second part of class. There is gonna be a gymnastic strength component at the end, right? So we're gonna be doing work on both ring muscle-ups and strict handstand push-ups. So again, this whole day has a lot of technical work in it. And so scale to your ability, right? The ring muscle-ups, you can of course work any bar variation. If you just wanna work on your strict pull-ups or maybe your chest-to-bar pull-ups where you touch your chest, that's an option. You could do bar muscle-ups, jumping bar muscle-ups. Um, and then on the rings, we can do transitions if you want. So I do something like this, working on doing some transition work, okay? But again, choose something you're comfortable with. This is decent volume. You wanna build strength and good movement patterns. Um, for the strict handstand push-ups, you can do something like a pike push-up where you touch, all right? Or you can do some elevated ab mats. And for all of this stuff, you can also adjust the number of reps. So the recommendation here is to use about one third of your max reps um, and trying to repeat that round after round under fatigue. Okay, so again, use today as a learning opportunity. Have fun, guys. See you tomorrow.